Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to the channel news for April. I wanted to say that I'm actually uh, really glad to be back. I know it's been about seven days since my last upload. I'm back uh, from being sick with uh, what our CSM at the store I work at said sound like bronchitis and uh, a little bit of it's still in my chest. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, uh, but I'm on antibi antibiotics for it now and I'm feeling a lot better. I put out a... <coughs> I put out a post on Facebook and um, Twitter uh, about that I was sick, but I'm getting better and I'm still on the mend and uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I think I can make videos again and, you know, be alright, you know, it's doing alright. God, it's bright in here. Um, but basically, that's, that's what happened. I had to take like a little break because uh, I was just stuck in the bed the whole time trying to recover. It was pretty darn rough. I didn't have any videos prepped for that at all, so you can't plan on when you get sick and when you don't get sick. Um, you just have to learn to, you know, take your flu shot, which I should have done, but I did not because I'm not smart. The next thing I wanted to say is that congratulations, we finally made it to 100 subscribers. Uh, I shared that post about that on uh, Twitter. Uh, I'm not sure on Facebook. I didn't want to, like, throw it out there because it's not like bragging or anything, but I'm glad to be to say that I made it to 100 subscribers. It took about a, a year, but we're here. Uh, it, it's nice. It's um, I'm actually really thankful for you guys, uh, like, just watching the videos and having a good time and being a part of the community, and it makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing something worth a purpose, you know, where, you know, at least worth a cheap, cheap laugh. It's just comedy. It's just Let's Plays. They're, they're fun, and I'm glad to have you here. Uh, so that's, that's very nice. I don't necessarily have any kind of uh, big special plan for it because uh, I, I didn't know if I would ever like you know if it would ever happen or anything I didn't have a lot of time to plan for it plus I was sick and it's just it's just really nice to have a hundred people that think that the videos are worth watching so I appreciate that and uh, if you want to see something special let me know but until then we'll be getting right along with the regular program I'm also happy to say that I played two new games this month um, one was One Piece Mugen, so that's a new One Piece game to add to the lineup. Uh, I started out with Luffy, and then went on to Zoro. The fights went actually pretty well. Uh, it seems to match up very well with the Naruto Battle Climax Mugen. Uh, the fighting system is about the same. There's no uh, jutsus that you can hold down and then, and then an attack button to use. Uh, everything is activated through uh, like directional combos, sort of like the old... Um, I guess you could say Street Fighter style of fighting, which is actually, you know, some people prefer that. It's actually really nice. Uh, I like how it's stacking up so far, and it's a pretty darn fun game to play. So I hope you enjoy that, and I was actually enjoying playing it, so it's nice to have. The other game that I played that was actually really fun uh, was called Phoning Home. It's a game about a little robot uh, basically trying to find his way back home or contact his home planet after crash landing on a new planet. Uh, let's see, it was UN, so like basically um, as the ship crash lands, there's a little robot that you control uh, called uh, Ion. His name is called Ion. He kind of looks like a, a robot version of E.T. And the ship's AI uh, is actually the one that, uh, you know, tells him where to go and what to do. That one is called UN, so uh, Ion and Un. <laughs> They basically work together to try to find solutions to get either off the planet or, um, you know, send a signal back home. Uh, you gather resources, survive against enemies. I haven't seen any yet. Well, no, I've seen one enemy that I fought, which was like, a, it was kind of like a cluster of, it looked like a cluster of bees, but it was actually a cluster of electric, basically electric particles that attacked me. It's, it's weird. You gotta watch it. Oh, and there's also another enemy in there, which is a giant rock golem. But you can't fight those, as, as, at least not as far as I know. Um, but basically, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> dying, the two of them work together to try to find a solution uh, and get home and all that good stuff. It's kind of a survival game. I know a lot of people were playing the new uh, Subnautica, but that's, you know, it's been, you know, basically just like stampeded and avalanched all over by everybody so I was like you know what I need to uh, find a survival game that I can play that maybe even has like a little robot since I'm Russ Robo and that's the 
theme of the channel is as much robotic content as possible, which I know Mugen doesn't really fit into that, but a lot of people seem to like that one when I did it, so I stuck around with it. The next character's up on, um, let's see, what was it, uh, Naruto Battle Climax Mugen, I believe the next character up is Kabuto, so I know, I don't know how, I don't know how well that one's gonna do, but, uh, then there's another Orochimaru, and, um, I believe it was also, um, that, that one's probably going to do pretty good because it's Orochimaru in his Sanin form. Yeah, that one might do pretty well. I actually fought him in one of my earlier episodes. I fought against him, which he was actually kind of broken because he starts off the fight with three stocks of Chakra and he can infinitely heal himself instantaneously. So I, I guess I'll play as that Orochimaru, you know, even though he's kind of broke. But it, it could be pretty fun. And then the next character on One Piece should be... Ooh, it's either going to be Sanji or um, or uh, Nami. I can't remember who comes first in the lineup. Um, but whoever it is, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully look forward to that. Uh, that's about all the news I have for April. Uh, for April. Of course, uh, there's still... I'm still going on with War Tech Fighters. I'm going to get the... I'm going to try... I know it's been a long time, but I'm going to try for the... Um, Robot Arena Tournament uh, to, you know, pick it back up again. I found an easier way to write out the tournament bracket. Basically just do, since it's 35 fighters, and I guess my bot will count as the 36th, that divides into three sets of 12. So I can do, I guess, um, 12, and then 12, and then 12, and then move on to the next weight uh, class, I guess. Uh, actually, that would be 12, and then 12, and then 12, and that will boil down to versus six and then six and then six and then three and then three and then three. Oh god see it's still too complicated oh like I it's just I wanted to do robot arena 2 and and I still do and it's just 36 competitors is so many and that's not even counting um, how you have to go from each you have to go to each weight class and eliminate the multi like the multiples of each weight on the same team. Like for example, there's multiples. There there are multiple lightweights on some teams, and multiple middleweights on some teams, and multiple heavyweights on some teams. So you actually have to run a tournament of the bots as that team versus themselves to find out which one of their weight class will represent their team. It's ridiculous, but basically that's everything for April. Uh, we're continuing on with the. Uh, business as usual with two new games included to the channel and I hope you'll enjoy that and if I find anything new I'll be sure to add it in there and we'll have fun with that and if you have any helpful suggestions or comments please leave them in the comment section below I'd love to hear about them uh, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long and I'm sorry I almost um, it's literally the 29th of April so I almost missed it um, so I'm sorry about that <laughs> um, Hopefully the next channel news will come out a bit sooner. Um, so I, I hope you all got all the questions you needed answered. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching, and bye-bye. Oh, and take it easy, my friends. <laughs>